subassembly geometry is created using the toolbox area of subassembly composer. The three most basic parts of a subassembly are points, links, and shapes, and those are the parts that we're going to be using to create our subassembly. To create a point, we simply select it, left click, and drag over into the flowchart area. And when we do, the properties of that point will be exposed in the properties window of Subassembly Composer. You'll see that our point comes predefined with a point number of P1. And we have the option of giving this point a point code to be used. Uh, one, two things to remember about point codes are that, uh, first of all, they cannot contain any spaces. And second of all, they must be contained within quotes. I'm going to give this point a point code of top underscore median. The geometry for the point can be defined using many different mathematical criteria. Uh, you can see here that we have angle and delta x, angle and delta y, uh, interpolate point, slope and delta x, just various ways that we can create this point. I'm going to use delta x and delta y, which is what I'll be using for the majority of the points with this sub-assembly. Sub my origin point, I'm going to select uh, the point geometry point is going to come from the origin. And I'm going to set a delta x of 0 0.3. And a positive number uh, in the x direction is going to offset that to the right as a negative number would offset it to the left. So a delta x of 0 0.3 and a delta y of 0 will set a point horizontally from the origin 0 0.3 units over. In the preview window, you should be able to see where that point is created. Now we'll drag in another point, and you'll notice that this point is a little different in that it is P2 and L1. Uh, once you create the initial point, you have the option to add links between the point you're creating and the point that was just created. So you'll see if I create P2 and give it a delta X of 2, then I can automatically add link to between those two points. I can set this using a slope and a delta x of a slope of negative 2% and a delta x of 10. And always remember your positive and negative signs when you're defining your subassembly criteria. We can give our link a code uh, as well, and they follow the same rules as point codes. You can choose in the preview window to view codes and comments if you have any. So you can see that L1 is set to uh, top, and I have a comment there that it's the top of lane. 